today on Daytime's number one drama, The Young and the Restless. Our next guest put a ring on it for the fourth time when he got engaged to Victoria Newman in his new role as the sexiest oh. bad boy in daytime. Take a look. So will you open that big, beautiful heart of yours and let me in? Stay this time. You marry me? Again? First of all, we want to congratulate you on your new role. Welcome you to the CBS yeah, family. Thank you for having me. How does it feel to be a part of Daytime's number one drama? Well, it feels amazing. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's great. I mean, to be here with, with you and the, the, the fitting in over there was very, very easy for me because they were so, so welcoming. Um, you, I'm sure you've met many of them. Mm -hmm. over the years, but uh, they're just great, great people, and I mean, it feels really good to be That's over at CBS. Awesome. Yes. Yes. Now, last month, you filmed your very first days as Billy Abbott, and the first, the first days of your, your time in that role, you were waking up from a coma. So what was it like to start this role in a hospital bed? Uh, relaxing. <laughs> Uh, easy. It was it was pretty easy. It was the first the first day. I, I mean, I have to say, as an actor, it was fantastic because I had all the castmates, all the people that mean the most to the character, crying and billowing over the character. So I, I learned a lot about what their relationships were. You know how how we kind of got along in this past life or the life that I wasn't really a part of, which was great. So I was kind of you know mentally taking my notes as Built I was laying research. there trying not to you know, wink or Wiggle. do anything, yeah. Now, I, this is not on my car, but I really have this question. Did you hide anything in the bed? I always feel like as actors, if you're in a bed, oh, you, you hide. you hide it anywhere you can. Right? Yeah, like yeah. candy, Beds, drawers, phone. Yeah, lines. <laughs> lines, your dialogue. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. You keep it anywhere you can get to it. Now, okay. before you joined the cast of YNR, you spent 10 years driving your fans crazy on General Hospital as this sexy <laughs> Dr. Patrick Great. Yeah. What's the most memorable encounter you've had with a fan playing Patrick Drake? Ooh, there have been many. Um, I would have to say probably the most memorable one, and I, I mean, I've said this before, but I was in a grocery store here in L.A., and this woman um, stopped me in the aisle, and she was like, excuse me, are you the doctor on General Hospital? And I was like, yes, ma'am, I am. She's like, mm, I'm 85 years old, and you still do it to me, honey. <laughs> of that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now because YNR is so uh, big up in Canada, it's great because I'm from Canada, so I go up there and it's nice to kind of have that little, uh, you know, recognition. Yeah. yeah. That love. Yeah. So, as we saw earlier, you, you just got engaged on the show. Yeah. Oh, on but, the show, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. but in, in real life, you're newly married to Paloma. Paloma. Yes. Paloma. Now, how far into your courting Aww. relationship Beautiful. did you realize that Paloma was the one for you? Very, very quickly. Um, she didn't realize it quite as quickly <laughs> as me. But uh, yeah, so we, we kind of met in September, but November was really our first date. And um, I asked her if she had any plans for Thanksgiving, and she said no. So I brought her over. And I swear to this day that I told her that my mom and dad and my grandmother and my grandfather and all my 30 closest friends were going to be there, of course, <laughs> because it's the right thing to do. <laughs> she swears that I did not tell her that. So when we showed up, it was literally my whole personal family and all my friends. And oh. I knew pretty quickly that it was going to be one of those relationships Aww. that I was going to do anything I could to hold on to because she was just, I remember, I still to this day have very clear visions of her sitting down in front of the fire talking to my grandmother and my grandfather. Oh, and, wow, yeah, my grandfather's yeah. not with us anymore, so it became even more, more special. So that's wonderful. She's, a, she's a good one. Gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, Billy Abbott. 
Now, you promised Delia that you was going to get your act together, so don't you mess this up now that you got the poor chance with Victoria. No womanizer, no gambling, no drinking. You're going to get it together, right? You know this character. I cannot do those things. <laughs> I'm happy for you. Anything you could tell us, though, what's going to happen? What's that? Oh, I can tell you everything, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Nothing. Oh. You know him. He's, uh, he's, 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 you know, he's got some, some things, some issues, but I don't know if he's ever going to actually deal with them. But well, you know what it's they fun say? for me because it's new for me, so yeah. I get to kind of get in there. Well, you know what they say in the soap world? Fourth time's the charm. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, we're pulling it for you. Yeah. Jason yeah. Thompson, ladies and gentlemen. The Young and the Restless airs weekdays right here on CBS. We'll be right back with one final giveaway.